seven, what was your reaction to the uh, Jeff Halfley news? Uh, you know, uh, this is not the first time that uh, this has happened. And, um, you know, uh, it just has a better opportunity for him and his family. And, then, you know, people just got to understand that. And I understand that, too. So, how, did, uh, how did he break the news to you guys? Uh, he just told us uh, uh, in a meeting. Um, you know, he just broke it down to us. And, you know, he not happy about it, but... I said it's a better opportunity for him. What's it, this been like for you? I mean, ever since you've been here, it's mm -hmm. been one year after another, and even the guy who recruited you didn't coach you. How tough has that been for you to have to adjust to that? Um, I mean, uh, it's pretty tough. Um, you just got to uh, adapt to your environment, actually, and it's going to happen. You, know? so you just got to understand that. Is it, is it a thought? You, now you've got to impress somebody else? Seven. I mean, what 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 are the what what's kind of the thought there? You know what I mean? Going through so many guys. Same thing. Uh, I think just for me, you just keep complacent. You know, just keep working. You know, and that's just in your whole life, honestly. You just kind of keep working. What, what's the benefit though of having being able to tap the brains of, of some guys like that though? You know what I mean? In succession oh, for a, oh, that's a lot for, of, for a defensive back. That's a, um, a lot of good stuff coming out of just learning from him and, and just uh, soaking it all in, honestly. Uh, especially him coming from the NFL and coming here and, and then him, te him teaching the things that, you know, we know now is going to help us in the long run. Yeah. What, what, kind of, what kind of head coach do you think he'll be? I mean, uh, he seems with us. Hey, coach, how is going to be a great coach? Yeah. Wherever he goes. You know, whatever he do, he's going to be good. Are there some benefits to having different coaches and being able to learn from different people different things that they might teach you? Yeah, um, I think everybody – I mean, it's not the same, so you can get a little bit from here and there from everybody. How beneficial is it that you've also been coached by Matt Barnes this year and that he'll still be around? Um, just having a familiar face um, and that uh, it's not going to leave or anything, whatever, um, it's good too. It, what, the defense, Brian Day says the defense won't be changing. How much does that help as well? Uh, yeah, that helps a lot, just knowing we already uh, know what's to come. That, you know, we've been doing great in. What has he told you about who who will be replacing you? I know he said he'll go get the best co coach in the country. Yeah, uh, we don't know yet. You know, I'm not sure. But whoever it is, it's gonna be it's gonna be the best. How close were you two guys personally? Were you pretty were you pretty close? Yeah, we were pretty close. Um, you know, um, he's a family guy. You know, he cares a lot about each and one of each and everybody um, on the team. And um, we're we gonna miss him. What made him special? I mean, the defense room, it's been well documented last year to this year. He's, he gets a big lot of credit for the change that's happened. What, if you had to kind of pinpoint what makes him special to coach? Um, he's, uh, he's very smart. He knows, like I said, him coming from the NFL and him learning from, I guess, there and then bringing it here. Obviously, he's sticking around to coach you guys through the playoff. What's the communication been like just the last few days in terms of you know him continuing to work with you guys while he's was at Boston College this morning? Um, I don't feel like anything has changed. Um, he's still him. You know, we still working hard and then soaking everything up. How much? How much of a role has Matt Barnes played with you guys? Kind of how's that? What's that balance been like this year in terms of Coach Halfley coaching you guys and Coach Barnes coaching you guys? They always have their input on uh, anything that we're doing or that we're learning. And like I said, everybody is different, so we get an input from each one, so it's good. Seven, you're playing a lot this year, and, and you're probably setting yourself up for a future starting role, I think, in future seasons. Just speak about your role this year and, and maybe your, your plans for future seasons. <laughs> um, um, I, have a, uh, I have a good future ahead of myself. And um, like I said, I'm just keep soaking everything in. Uh, just worry about the moment right now, you know, and um, just keep working. I'm just gonna do what I do. How much film have you guys watched so far in Clemson yeah. offense? Uh, you know, we got we got some good going on. <coughs> what do you? What's your early thoughts? I know you can't give away any secrets. Just in general, what are your early thoughts? Like, what stands out about their offense the most? Um, you know, uh, they're they're a good team. You know, one of maybe uh, the hardest teams to probably place. 
team based. And uh, you know, they, they are, they're well around. Is it exciting getting to go up against a team like that that's got a couple highly touted receivers and kind of getting to prove yourself against those guys? Yeah, it's very. Uh, a lot of people don't think, you know, that we're going to do whatever, but I mean, we just got to show the world. Seven, how much has, that was just for yourself, maybe you get a sense the whole kind of second unit among the DBs, has this confidence really grown over the last maybe three or four games? Of course. Uh, we always knew we can do it. We just have to show it. Do you guys feel like you have an underdog mentality going into this game? Always. Always. Every game we're coming in, we see, we're looking to work. Do the older guys talk to you about what happened in 2016 and about how you make sure that doesn't happen again? Nah. Nah, we're not really focused on the past. I haven't really actually, they haven't really brought it up, so. Those two, those two big time wideouts that uh, Clemson's got, though, I mean, what stands out about them is you watch them on video. They, they like to take advantage. I think of their height too, right? Or there sometimes mismatches they've been in this year and last year in the championship game against Alabama. But just what stands out about those guys? Uh, you know, they're they're different than uh, what we face this year, and uh, you know we're just gonna bring to the table what we do uh, when we play in our games. Yeah. How would you describe when you've watched question, when, you, when you've watched uh, Trevor Lawrence on tape? Uh, what stands out about him? Is he is he willing to take a shot? I mean, is he? I mean, how would you how would you describe him from a from a quarterback play standpoint? Uh, I feel like he, uh, he's uh, very smart. You know, make quick decisions. But you know, we gotta uh, you know, so we just gotta do our thing. Great, seven. Thank you.